Larry has put in 16 years on this project. He's been to 11 states, 28 uh, cities, 30,000 miles, collecting 96 autographs for the 96 team on these two pieces. And then after all of that work and all of that time and effort and expense, he's, he's decided to donate it to the Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame. So we're very fortunate and very honored that he did that. And uh, in fact, that, that, that's something that in many cases is typical of Packer fans when you consider that everything we have in this museum has been donated by, by fans like Larry. So uh, When the Packers won the Super Bowl in 96, it was a pretty significant accomplishment because of the Packers record and tradition in the 60s of winning all the championships, and then we went 29 years of a little bit of a drought. So when they won the 96 Super Bowl, it was pretty exciting, needless to say. And my original intent was to get the starting offense and the starting defense and Coach Holmgren to sign the print, so it would have been 23 signatures. Um, and as time progressed, there were many, many more players, coaches, um, folks that made appearances and were available, so I just kept going with the uh, autograph. Got to about 70 autographs. I uh, thought, you know, it might be kind of neat to get 96 total signatures representing the 96 championship teams so November 2nd of last year we went out to Seattle and to the Seahawks headquarters and I got Lance Lopes, John Schneider and Sam Ramsden and those were the last three signatures so at that point we got it framed and connected with Tom and arranged for the donation here to the Hall of Fame. You didn't want to put it in your own personal <clears throat> I did but collection? my wife wouldn't let me so. <laughs> um, I mean it's really, you know, a very special day, obviously, for, you know, Tom, for the Hall of Fame, for Bob Harlan, for all the folks that are here joining us celebrating today. Um, you know, it kind, of re kind of referring back to your question, we could have left it hanging on our family room wall for many, many years. Um, but then the question is how many folks could really enjoy it. So when I talked to Tom and, and the guys from the Hall of Fame last year in April, you know, we started talking about securing plans to bring it here because, you know, ultimately this is where it belongs. Uh, again, to have it home and have a few people see it is okay, but having it here for all future visitors of the Hall of Fame to enjoy it is, is really what it's all about. It makes me feel great. I mean, I think that's what it's all about is sharing um, the experience. Um, again, you could be selfish and say, no, let's leave it hanging on the wall at home. A lot of people said I should sell them. Um, and that doesn't feel right, you know. Um, so the more I thought about it, I, the last couple of weeks I really had some times where I thought, boy, am I doing the right thing or not? But um, it's absolutely the right answer is, you know, everybody that comes through this incredible place that is the Hall of Fame can now enjoy it. Thank you.